God bless you all brothers, Joshua chapter 8 today and um, I want to share with dealing with sin, dealing with sin this morning. We saw in chapter 7, you know, we saw Joshua and the Israelites, you know, what happened at Ai, you know, the sin in the camp, this man Achan, you know, sin was defeating the people of God. You know, also like our brother Felix shared this morning, it also affected hovers. And um, we see now here in chapter 1, after that has been dealt with, after that situation has been dealt with, God says this. The Lord said to Joshua, do not be afraid of this encourage. Take the whole army with you and go up and attack Ai, for I have delivered into your hands the king of Ai. And you know, brothers, this is just after that's happened in chapter 7 with Achan and Sim was in the camp. But now they've dealt with that, God is telling them now to get back on the feet and get back in the battle. And you know, brothers, there is times when we fail God and there's times when we fall into sin. There is times when we probably... Maybe like Achan, and we may put our eyes upon the wrong things. We may look to the wrong things. We may desire the wrong things. And, you know, when we do fail God, and we fall into an area of sin, it's how we deal with it that matters to God. It's how we deal with it that affects us and our relationship with God. When we fail God, because listen... Brothers, let's be truthful. We've all made mistakes in our Christianity. We've all made the wrong decisions. You know, we've probably done things, you know, that hasn't been right and we've realised and thought, why did I say that? Why did I do that? Let's be truthful. We've, we've all done it if we're truthful. And it's what we do about that. We can either stay down and feel defeated and allow that sin to defeat us. But like God said in chapter 7 to Joshua, he said, Joshua... Stand up. Stand up. And now, you know, he told him what to do. And now he's telling them to go into battle. And you know, brothers, when we fail God, we slip and we fail. It's how we deal with the situation. If we confess, remember the Bible says in 1 John chapter 1, verse 8 and 9, that if we confess, he is faithful and just and cleanses us from all unrighteousness. When we slip and when we fall, and when we, you know, come against the battle and we feel like we've been defeated, we need to get back up on our feet. We need to repent. We need to ask the Lord for forgiveness. And we need to get back up on our feet. And we need to get back in the battle. We're to never stay down, brothers. We're to never allow sin to defeat us. Remember, Jesus has overcome sin. There is no condemnation for those in Christ. Our sin has been cast as far from the east to the west and never to be counted against us again. And that's what we need to remember. Yes, when we do fail God, we have to, you know, go to God with that, with that repented heart. You know, knowing that we've done wrong and that should lead us to want to say, you know what, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for failing you. I'm sorry for that situation. I should have handled it better. I shouldn't have went there. I shouldn't have said that. It's how we deal with sin, brothers. But we must never stay down. Because the reason Jesus went to the cross was to pay the penalty for our sin. And that's why Romans says there's no condemnation. The Bible tells us, though that doesn't give us a license to go and sin, and that doesn't give us a license to live how we want, because a true repented person will aim for holiness. That is something we should all aim for. But in this walk, we will have failings. In this walk, we will let God down. But what do we do about it? How do we deal with sin? Do we let it keep us down? Or do we know that the God that we serve is bigger than that? And that the God that we serve is a forgiving God and a loving God and a merciful and graceful God. And that the Lord knows that each and every time when we fail and we let him down and we fall into areas that's not pleasing to him. That we know that God wants us to get up and he wants us to continue in the battle. He doesn't want us to feel defeated because we belong to him. You know, he said to them people, didn't he, in chapter 7, 
He said to Joshua, he never told him to stay. He said, get up, get up. Told him what to do. Get rid of it, he said. Get rid of that, that what will destroy you. And you know, brothers, we need to let go of the things that destroy us. We need to, you know, wrestle against sin. Fight against sin. But there is times, brothers, when we will feel like we've been defeated. Like I said, or we've said something, or done something, or gone somewhere. We shouldn't have. The thing is, we should learn from our mistakes. We should learn from our failings. We should learn from wrong decisions. Wrong conversations. We should learn from all these things. And deal with them in the right way. And that's what God was doing with these. He was showing them, you know, that sin within the camp would destroy them. Sin within a man's life will destroy him if he continues in it. But it's how we deal with it, brothers, this morning. When you fail and you let God down, it's good to feel bad. It's good to feel that way because it's conviction. We know that, you know, the Holy Spirit inside of us, it tells us that we've done wrong or we've said wrong. And we know that it's not pleasing to God. And that we should be men, you know, what do grieve over that. We should be men who are not happy over that because we want to please God. But this morning, brothers, maybe, maybe you've fallen an area this morning and you've fallen to an area of sin in your life. You've probably done something or said something and you're allowing the enemy to condemn you this morning. You're feeling defeated and you're allowing yourself to stay down. Then this morning, I believe God would say exactly to you what he said to Joshua. What are you doing? Down, get up, stand up. Call on my name this morning. I'm a forgiving God who is merciful, loving and graceful. And get back in the battle. Get back in the battle today. And that's what the uh, Israelites did. You know, they got back in the battle. They went and took this town AI. They listened to the instructions of God. They, God give them an order what to do. Remember, God is a God of order, not a God of disorder. And God give them an order what to do. Told them what to do. They listened. And they went and took AI. God give AI into their hands. That's the God that we serve today, brothers. Let me tell you, give it to the Lord. And he will hand your pro the problems that you have. He will put them in his hands. God bless you all today.